factoring special polynomials. Let's look at perfect squared trinomials and how to factor them. So here we have a binomial that is squared. You can also write it as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. Let's multiply that out, and you're going to notice a little bit of a pattern. We better collect those two like terms in the middle. Okay, let's look at the anatomy of this perfect square. The first term is a square because it's always the first two terms multiplied together. Your last term is also always going to be a square, the same last two terms multiplied together. And if you notice, both of those are going to be a positive because anytime you square something, you always end up with a positive number. This middle term, there's also a pattern to that. Notice how those two parts are the same? That 10x is your two terms from your binomial multiplied together and then just multiplied by 2. That's the anatomy of a perfect square trinomial. Let's put some notes on that. So your trinomial has the first term squared. The last term is the second term of your binomial squared. And this middle term is twice the product of the first and second terms of the binomial. Let's use what we know about these trinomials to factor. This is another case of if you can recognize the pattern, they become much easier to factor. Now you can just factor this normally like you did in a previous section using the box method or using decomposition. But if you can recognize that this is a perfect square trinomial, you can jump to the answer much, much quicker. Let's go through how to do that. So when I look at it, my first term is a square. 4x squared equals 2x times 2x. My third term is also a square. They're both positive. So when I go and I look at my second term, I'm going to take this times this, and then times it by 2. 2 times 2 times 3 gives me 12, and I've got an x. Because it fits all of those criteria, we have a perfect square trinomial. And as soon as we know it's a perfect square trinomial, I can factor it into two binomials. 2x is my first term, 3 is my second term, and the trick is figuring out what my sign is going to be, and my sign is whatever sign is on my middle term. There is my perfect square trinomial. Let's do one more example. Now I'm going to rewrite this question mostly because I don't like the order that it's in. You can factor it just fine the way it's written. As a convention, I always like to start with my highest power first. There, that looks easier to work with. All right, let's check to see, is this a perfect trinomial square? First term, yes, it's a perfect square. That's the same as 7x times 7x. Third term, Yes, that's a perfect square, too. Now let's look at this trickier middle one. I've got minus 56x. It's got to be 2 times my first term, which is 7x, and my last term, which is 4. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 4 is 56. Yeah, it is a perfect trinomial square. I can just rewrite that as my first term, which is 7x, my third term, which is 4. And then I'm going to take the sign from this middle term which is a negative. And then if I want, I can rewrite it again as 7x minus 4 to the power of 2. Both are perfectly acceptable answers.